Belize Watch. Knowledge of the past, impacting the present, building the future. It has been said, there is no place like home. It is with this thought in mind that the Sartaneja Homestay Group was established. The Belize Watch team stopped by the home of Neria Gongora to speak with Gongora, the president of the group, Yvette Cobb, and member Hovina Cruz. The ladies tell us why they got involved in the project. We will have our conversation with them after we hear from our partners, Belize Tourism Board, the Barry, Shell Belize Limited, and Honorable Kevin Bernard. Shell V Power, with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell. In Orange Walk East, we are serious about serving our people. In Santa Marta, we have renovated and upgraded the community park, handed over equipment to maintain the park and cemetery, provided lights to the football field, support sports in the village, conducted maintenance of the water system, and carried out a continuous upgrading of the village roads. Honorable Kevin Bernard and the PUP committed to the people of Orange Walk East, delivering on Plan Belize. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, Old Drug, and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry, get more, feel this. streets, creating dump sites, throwing a trash on the highway. We know fit to that. Only we could stop this. Each of we play an important part in a protecting our beautiful country. This that we believe. Respect it. Cherish it. Love it. Paul, we are still in the beautiful village of Sartaneja, and you have taken out your notebook, right? Because I need to, you to tell me where, where exactly we are right now. Chief, we're in the midst of a beautiful coastal community of Sartaneja, and we have come upon a project here entitled Sartaneja Homestays. And Chief, before we go any further, I don't want to miss the opportunity to say how appreciative I am to the executive director of the Sartaneja Alliance Conservation and Development, Mr. Joel Verde, and his supportive staff members, Ms. Jamie Likus and Ms. Diviana Samos, who are so helpful in getting us hooked up to the Sartaneja Home Group. And Chief, I guess it's exciting for you to go and meet the ladies who are involved in this project, and they will tell you the rest. Come on. Well, you brought me to, uh, in front of a home here in Sartaneja that says, Sartaneja Homestay Group, come and experience village lifestyle by staying with us. We offer accommodation and traditional meal. For information, contact us at telephone 664-8242. Facebook, Sartaneja Homestay. Um, email Sartaneja Homestay at gmail.com. And I see several sponsors below it, including Pact, M C A C A P. Okay, let's go in and see what this is all about. Well, now that I have read the sign and we are about to enter the front door, right? Chief, I'm more than honored 
for you to meet the host of this homestay. So please go right in. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Hello. This is your homestay? Yes. And your name is? Neria Gongora. Neria Gongora. Mm. Welcome to Sartaneha. Welcome to hom Sartaneha Homestay. It's good to be yeah. in Sartaneha. I love Sartaneha. I love the feeling in Sartaneha. Is it does it feel always nice like this in Sartaneha? Yeah. Every all time. year round? Every time. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, every time. Every time. And then she, she she's your she's Yvette, the president of the group of homestay. Okay, it's a group. Miss Yvette. Yes. Thanks. Hello good good meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you and welcome. I am Yvette Cobbs, president of the Sardinia Homestay Group. Welcome to Sardinia. Welcome to Miss Neria's home. Welcome to our homestay group. Madam President, thank you so much for, for welcoming me and for being here to, to welcome me. And Miss Neria, it's good to be in your home. This is your home, right? Yes. All right. Sardinia Homestay Group. And I'd like to get to know more about it. I like the name Sardinia Homestay. Yes. That means it makes me feel like I'm staying at a home. Right. I suppose to feel homely, right? Yes. And then it's not only one on the missionary, there are other members in the group, I take it, mm -hmm. right? So um, let's sit down and learn more about this group. Is it okay? Yes. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. All right, let's, let's, let's do that. Um, hablan en inglés y español también, ¿verdad? Claro. Uh -huh. somos, un, un, somos una aldea donde hablamos español y también inglés. Y usted prefiere el español, pero... Me gusta el español, pero puedo hacer el trabajo en inglés también. Okay, so we'll do it in English, right? ¿Verdad que sí? I prefer Spanish. Ah, pero no, pero siempre hablo en el inglés usted. Claro, sí. Claro que sí. Nos sentamos y nos ponemos a hablar un poquito para que me expliquen un poquito de lo que es, lo que están haciendo aquí en Sarteneja. Sarteneja es una aldea muy hermosa. Hermosa y tiene muchas cosas que lo hace bonito. Sarteneja has, um, has, has many things that makes it so unique among the country, I believe. I believe. It is, it is. So let us learn a bit more about your homestay group and a little more about what you offer to folks who visit Sartaneja. Sartaneja Homestay Group. I, I like that name because, you know, it feels so homely. And sitting here with you ladies make it so homely. But Madam President Yvette, um, you brought another lady along. Uh, can yes. You yes, Mr. Rene, and she is Jovina, Jovina Cruz. She is the, um, the coordinator of the Sartaneja Homestay Group. Sartaneja Homestay Group. And so we are in your house, Miss yeah. Neria, la señora Neria Gongora. Estamos en su casa. So thanks for having us here in your home, right? Okay. Now, um, the group, let's look at the group. And um, let's look at, your, at you, Miss um, Neria, as, as, as a member. And since you're in your home, how many rooms you offer um, um, as part of the homestay group? Um, I offer two rooms. What made you decide to become a member of this group? Well, um, since the group formed uh, about 13 years ago. The group is that old, 13 years old? Mm -hmm. Well, I decided to be in the group to work. Well, let me ask your president, um, Ms. Yvette, to walk us through the formation of the group. Um, so how did this concept come about, Ms. Yvette? Thank you. Um, well, welcome once again to Sartaneja. Um, Sartaneja is a Mayan name that means water beneath the rocks. Uh, and the Mayan name was, is, uh, was it's Sartaneja. Then later it was modernized with the Spanish influence yeah. to, to be named Sartaneja. So um, Sartaneja is the second largest vi fishing village in the country of Belize. And our, our main incomes come from fishing. And um, we, we women um, of this community um, Engage. We we, we we started with this business as um, as part of being of belonging to to fishermen families. This group was um, was formed by was established under a project by done by SACD, coordinated by Mr. Howell Verde, in which the the um, the fam families in the community were invited to become part of it. So we women 
responded to the call and, and this group was, was established since, since 20, 2010, 13 years ago. FACD will be the Sartaneja Action Alliance. Oh, Sartane you tell me. SACD is an NGO organization in that that was established to to um, to to create to for for conservation and development. Under this um, organization, um, a project was developed. A project was developed in which it was. Um, it was to develop tourism in Sartaneja, and um, so Sartaneja Homestay Group became part of it. We um, we started with 13 members, 13. 13, 13, 13 members, 13 families, and at the moment, well, within time, as time went by, um, we we are just uh, a member, a group of six families and um, well-established, well-organized, very and sustainable. Mm -hmm. um, the, this group was, um, was established to create other means of livelihoods for us fishermen families to reduce the pressures on the barrier reef. So um, 13 of us families decided to, to focus, to become interested in this, in this, in this group to form this group to celebrate so that um, we, as mentioned, for other means of livelihood and us women who stayed at home because our fishermen go used to, well, our, fam our husband used to go fishing mm -hmm. and we stayed at home. So um, we tried to make our time more, be more efficient by generating our own income, by making our own money, hosting families, hosting guests mm -hmm. within our homes and then um, and for the guests also to, to, to stay with us. Staying with us, they have the, the great experience mm -hmm. to experience in Belizean village life. And, and also our culture, traditions, and plus the, the family, our hosting family. Now, walk me through an experience that I would have if I would come here um, as one of your guests in one of the, the um, well, the experience offered um, on behalf of Homestay is that you experience um, culture, tradition. You you can dine with us from a, from this modern mestizo kitchen to a to a um, to a to a fogon, a, a, a kitchen with that has a a fire heart on fogon, and then you're there you can dine with us and with the family. Meanwhile, the, the family, like Miss Neria, cooks there, serves you there, and um, sh well, what we mostly offer is handmade tortillas. Meanwhile, you, you are dining, you can enjoy hand, handmade tortillas. And also, we don't offer modern meals. Our, modern, our meals are very tra are traditional. We offer escavecha, every, every, every meal that has to do with corn tortillas. With culture. With culture, which is escavecha, relleno, chirmole, caldo de pollo, um, um, tamales, empanadas, hungry. <laughs> empanadas, salbutes, tostadas, tacos, um, col, you know what's um, yeah. col, the, 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 porridge. The, the porridge that you prepare yes. before putting them into leaves. Well, yeah. we, you can dine it also without the leaves and the many other meals that we can offer. So the idea here is really to give the full flavor of Sartaneja to a visitor and get that visitor exposed to what it is like to live in a home in Sartaneja. I love the concept, the Sartaneja Homestay Group, you know, because I think it's, it, it's fantastic because you, you, you get to appreciate the area more because of the personalized service that you give. That servicio personalizado, right? Sí, así es, y cuando están aquí la, los guests eh, se sienten cómodos y mejor, ellos mismos los dicen que se sienten mejor que estar en el hotel, yeah. con una familia en el hotel, solo estar encerrados ahí. The guests feel much more better being at a home than being in the hotel because they are clo in closing the hotel here, they are with a family, and the family will take care of them and take them 
um, out for walks, los lleva a pasear. Sí, sal sí, walks, sí salimos en el, allá en el muelle, da la vuelta en la noche y nosotros aquí esperamos hasta que, si ellos salen solos hasta que ellos entren a dormir, nosotros encerramos la puerta. So you don't close the door until they come home to sleep. So really it's a, indeed a home stay where the guest feels that he or she is very much at home, right? Okay, tu casa, mi, mi casa es tu casa. Oh yeah, and you have the sign right there, mi casa es tu casa, my home is your home, right? And so that's what you do, right? You make people uh, feel at home. Yes, yes. When the guests, is, when the guests are, as they are at our home, well, we, they could interact with the family. They have the meals with all the family there. We could, we could do a conversation, talk about anything they want. Yeah. And well, we try to make them feel good at home, like she said. Yeah. That's, that's what we, we try to do our best with the kids. And, and, and you cook what they would ask you, tell them about the culture of food, and then cook, cook the one that they would like the most, or how, 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 how does no. that work? Or you, or you today, you just say, today I'll do tostados, yeah. to, uh, tomorrow yeah. I'm going to do escabeche, <laughs> you know? That's so that's you that's produce that's the food. Today. Yes, and whenever we prepare it and we serve it, when well, we say you're going to eat like tostadas, or if we do like in the morning, we do in the tomato with the finished pack, we say. Yeah. We, we explain them all what we do, to, how to prepare it. And we say, well, you will eat Finnish pack today. This is a uh, mestizo food or anything that we, yeah. Yeah, that's how we, we do it. Now, in order to stay in one of these homes, Saturday night homes, say, how, how can I get in touch with any of you ladies to stay in one of these homes? Uh, is, is there a system where, yeah. where uh, and, and how do you promote yourself? We are in social media, we are on Facebook, and um, also through SSCD, which um, they have a website, and we are on that website. Do you have a lot of people visiting all the time? Yes, and for the past five years, it's mostly locals also that are looking for us, and that gave us a good <coughs> click in our business because we, we, could, um, we could experience as, as as, as business as business families that we um, we had to improve our our rooms because at the beginning homestay um, we had to share the guests had to share with with the um, with the family we had to share a bathroom and um, we get to know that um, our locals don't like to share so we had to improve that in in which further you will see that now our rooms have private bathrooms. Now our locals, they look for us, they come to us. Mm -hmm. Like Miss Neria, tell Mr. Rene, your family, your Easter family, Neria, that visit oh, you. Oh, yes, Miss yes. Neria, let's say about that, 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 those visits. Eh, dos años seguidos, pues, he tenido a Miss Palin, Soberanes. Eh, desde la primera vez que vino hace 12 años, aquí, aquí, quedó en, aquí en mi casa. Salim Soberano. Salim Soberano. Uh -huh. here for 12 years, you said? About 10. 10 to 12 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Y ahora dos años seguidos está viniendo para Easter. Le gusta venir para Easter. Two years consecutively she's going for Easter. Uh -huh. Sí, le gusta. Le gusta y ahora trajo una amiga. So she brought a friend. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you have two rooms, right? Mm -hmm. Two rooms. Sí, two rooms. And your rooms are always busy? No, not always, pero... I, I noticed you have one that's busy, or at least one busy right now, because uh, when I looked across, I saw a key in a door. But what's the experience like having, um, doing this, having somebody coming into your home, sharing your home with, with, with somebody that maybe you're meeting for the first time, right? Um, and also, they're basically sharing a bit of your life with them. How, how does that feel? How does it make you feel? And I guess this question might be a question that each of you could answer because I think it makes each of you feel a, 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 
different experience, right? So what's the experience like for you? Pues la primera vez, ella fue mi, mi guest mío. She was the first guest. She was the first guest. Uh -huh. Ella estaba llegando de Estados Unidos, me dijo, y... Came from the U.S. Uh -huh. <coughs> y, pues yo como soy una persona, pues, amigable. You're very friendly, right? Cuando ella, el momento que ella entró acá en mi casa, yo la hice sentir como es su casa de ella. When she came home, when she came here, I made her feel like she was in her own home. Sí, como si yo la conozco y se le quitó ese ese esa pena que traía y. She lost all the shyness that she had, right? She she lost that shyness and she she blended in, right? Le gustó y pues siempre viene ahora. Me gusta, me gusta en en cuando viene la gente conozco diferentes personas de alrededor del mundo puedo decir. ¿Y quién hace la cocina? ¿Usted cocina? ¿Usted misma cocina? Sí. Sí, y cuando ellos vienen, ellos se sienten en, en su propia casa y les ofrezco la cocina. Y They feel at home and I give them the kitchen too. Okay. Sí, ellos hacen lo que ellos quieran. La hora que quieran café, ellos lo van a hacer. Well, the setup you have here, um, the, the two rooms are down here with a sitting area, a nice beautiful sitting area. Nice chairs, a beautiful kitchen, um, refrigerator, stove, everything, microwave, everything that they would need. That's the setup you have down here, so it's, it feels like you're, you're at home. You live upstairs? No. no. <laughs> I, I thought you lived on the premises. No, I live back. Oh, so there's another house in the yard where no. you live? No, in la misma casa. Oh, quiet, you, your room is also down here. Okay, so, so you're not far away from your guests. Yeah, that is part ah. of the, that is part of the, that, is part of the <coughs> that is part of the homestay to offer guests to um, to offer the room service, the, the room um, the rooms or accommodation service within our homes. Okay. okay. So it's within your home. Yes. So if I come to see you, you would entertain me right here in the same place as your guests would entertain, the same area your guests would entertain. Their, their visitors is the same place you entertain your visitors as well because it is your home. So all these beautiful decorations I see here are not just for the guests. They're, they're, they're really personal decorations mm -hmm. of yourself, by yourself. Right? Sí. Uh, sí, es mi casa. Sí, es, es aquí donde nosotros vivimos y, y pues los cuartos pues son de, son de los guests. Okay. Yo tengo mi cuarto privado. <laughs> so it's a real, it's a real home. Say, uh, your experience. Well, well my experience, mm -hmm. I could say it's good, because when when we have guests at home, we, as I say before, we interact with them. We could uh, do a conversation with them. They they are in sometimes in their room, but they could come out with the family and do the conversation. If they like, they could stay in their room. They, we could go out. We could then, sometimes when you're preparing the food for them, we invite them so co they could come and do, sometimes we're doing like fry jacks. When they are like foreigners, they, they don't know how to do a fry jack or a tortilla. So we invite them to come and, and do the fry jack with us and for the tortillas and they like that. And then, well, it's it's good, it's good because we we know people like Neria say from all over the world. We have had people like that, and we could do friends. They, they some some of them become our friends, and some of them when whenever they go home, they go back. We and we could chat with them. We could. We could, touch yes, touch keep in touch with them, and that's a good experience for us, and also for our children. They know other peoples, and and it's it's very good. It's a good good experience for us as ladies at home because, in as ladies that then we stay home all the time, we don't go out much, so we know a lot of other people that come in our home. I, I think it's a it's it's a very good program that could be replicated all over the country in different areas, you know? Um, do you know of any other areas of the country where such a program is? 
when, when we started um, 13 years ago, we, we know that only in, in Toledo, there was a homestay in Toledo. Mm -hmm. And uh, us in, here in Sartinija. But I don't think it has been replicated now. What does it do for you, Madam President? In your case, I mean, I've heard from the ladies how they handle their situation. How you, how you handle yours? You like the experience? Yeah, the experience. Well, it's, it's very, it's, it's, every time we have a guest, it's a, it's a different experience. Um, it's a different experience because, um, you know, it's different people, different cultures that we come, but the, the best part about it is like, the interaction that we have yeah. when when guests come honestly is the same is the same um, experience as family and i think the ladies also and the other fam ladies is that um, we just meet today like the, you welcome them today and tomorrow you can feel that that um, that con that interaction that has just blended like we have met wow. long time ago Right, ladies? That is the experience I just like. And I just make, I always encourage the ladies, make sure to, to, um, to do your, 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 your part, to do your service as if it's the first time. Mm -hmm. as if, and, and I know they do a good job because people keep, I mean, guests keep in contact with us mm -hmm. and we have had good um, feedback on behalf of them that they write on us, to us. And, we really appreciate it. Mm. Yeah, standard rate um, charge, like, like uh, or it varies from home to home. It's, it's, a, it's a standard rate we have. It's a it's a stand, it's a tariff that we have, a fixed one, that is um, of sixty five dollars. That's Belize $60 dollars. Belize dollars staying with okay. us, and um, plus the the, um, the 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 meals. If it's breakfast, is um, eight dollars for breakfast mm -hmm. and. Um, Twelve dollars for lunch, and our meals include like breakfast, still traditional, no fancy breakfast. The our 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 common one or our more popular one is the pirish pack, and pirish is um, huevos, eggs, and pack is tomato, tomatoes. So we serve that we for we serve chaya with eggs, fish. When it's local fishing, we serve fish in the mornings. Um, haiba, crabs, and um, our also um, at for like for their snacks, for snacks like morning snacks, we have uh, the the local um, seasonal fruits because certainly is very rich in seasonal fruits. If it's not crabu, right now we are in crabu. Mango is just finishing. We are in crabu. Um, pineapple, um, avocados. Um, well, planting we have planting all oh, year, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and um, and for for our drinks also we offer um, um, natural juices or either water or our common tea. Um, our not our drinks are with the teas are the common ones, like um, not common ones but popular ones, um, like um, té de sacate de limón, fiva grass tea, yeah. and hoja de pimienta. Wow. Um, we offer um call it the ofrecemos the 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 herbs but the the, herb, the herb teas like um, la hierba buena the menta that we grow in our in our yards in our gardens it's a whole cultural experience that you give a complete cultural package right the ladies speak to us about how they have grown their businesses over the years when we come back we take a break to hear from our partners Belize Tourism Board, The Barry, Shell Belize Limited, and Honorable Kevin Bernard. Shell V Power, with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell. In Orange Walk East, we are serious about serving our people. In Santa Marta, we have renovated and upgraded the community park 
handed over equipment to maintain the park and cemetery, provided lights to the football field, support sports in the village, conducted maintenance of the water system, and carried out a continuous upgrading of the village roads. Honorable Kevin Bernard and the PUP committed to the people of Orange Walk East, delivering on Plan Belize. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, Orange and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry, get more, feel this. Garbaging on the streets, creating dump sites, throwing a trash on the highway. We know fit to that. Only we could stop this. Each of we play an important part in a protecting our beautiful country. This that we believe. Respect it, cherish it, love it. up your homes to people you, you, you don't know and, and, and it's your home, it's where you are with your children and it's, it's, it's where you live. Is there a sort of vetting or screening that goes on before you open up to someone? Yes, we do and that is when Ms. Hovina um, as the coordinator, she does that part for the business part for the, for the, for the group in which her home is our, is our office and then we, we register, guests have to register with us because we, Homestay is, um, is registered and licensed by BTB. So we, um, we have a, a, a registration book in which we have, our guests need to sign in for their, for their safety, but more for our family safety. Yeah. So and there they have to, to write or to, um, to enter their, their personal um, um, identifications, no, like passport or IDs, the day they, they, they arrive and the day that they, they depart also. Yeah. There is that, 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 that screening mm -hmm. process before. Yes. Now, how, how do you decide if I come in and I call your number and I go to your office and I register, how do you decide in which home I will stay? Do I have, make a request for the, a particular home, or how, how, how do you decide that? Okay. Before we, when we started the business, um, we started um, like having our, for us women to, to be part of it, we need to, we need to have a, a, an extra room in our home, and most of us didn't. Okay. But we did. We, we did our we did and our effort. We put we did our input. We put input on it, and we paid one. So, um, for it to be fair among us ladies, and because to keep the 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 means of it that for us to make in, to make an in, to make income, so we used to work it as a rotation, as a rotation process. We used to work it. Esta vez para, this for me, I mean for Miss Neria, for Jovina, for me, for Miss Rosie, for Miss Elia, Miss Lesby. It was a rotational process. After we, we, we upgraded our, our rooms, our service, um, we know we, we had to, it was very hard for us to do this, this change, this, to, to this change. But we we had we had yeah, we had we had we had to agree for that because we had to move along with yeah. with modernization and technology mm -hmm. because most of the of the business now is online mm -hmm. and then um, we we had to 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 not to expose our our um, our rooms our homes 
and now it, it is on the guests to choose which home they would like to stay. Okay. Okay. So, so that that part made us more, more, um, more like more, more interesting for us because now we have to do our on our, our part marketing. our own marketing in which we the ladies have to say well Miss Neria you have you see she has a nice one Miss mm -hmm. Hovina she has another way to to showcase her mm -hmm. her 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 home I Miss Elia Miss so we have different okay mm -hmm. different um, ways that we can market our our rooms our our business. No. Ms. Neria, um, how do you market your rooms? I mean, in other words, how would you entice me to stay at your place? What, 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 how, do you, how do you market your room through the um, office? That's the main reason for coming to see you. Well, pues, yo siempre trato de mantener las cosas en, en orden, limpio, para que cualquier momento que llegue, que llegue un guest, pues está listo, está, no tengo que estar allá, que se, les guste. Okay, you want people, the people, to, you fix up correctly for your guests, and you take care of them in a way that they would enjoy themselves. Y unos, en unos mismos beliceños me han dicho, eh, me gusta, me gusta aquí porque. Son belicianos, they like this place. Sí, porque está está mejor que sus propias casas de. Because they say sometimes better than their own house, what I say. Dicho. So you keep the quality. Eso me 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 motiva, eso me motiva que siempre esté lista todo el tiempo. So that motivates her to stay ready at all times. She can span. She can span. Right. What about you? It's because the rooms are, or the houses, I don't know how you see it. They are different. Yeah, and they're different, they're different locations as well, right? Different locations, and in, well, in, in, the, in the Facebook or, or, or wherever it is promoted, mm -hmm. there are pictures of the room. And some ones like, like more, like, could I say fancy? Could I say, I don't know, but because her room and my room, they have the same type of beds and, and everything inside. Just because this, the, the space or the location, I think it's, it's different, different. Yeah. yes. And, and when people say in, see the, the, in the pictures, well, they say, I will choose this home. Some of them like more like, in, uh, it's not better, but it's different. It's different. It's different, uh, different, yes. different part of yes, it's different. Yeah. We have this, the, the same rooms, we have the same beds, like I say, and same things inside to put their bags and everything, but it's, I don't know how I could explain it, that it's Something different. Each family that in, other, in other words, your, if I would go into your sitting room and, and dining room, I would not see the, 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 the same figurines I would see here. Different. You see a different ambience, yes. it would be a whole different ambience, and that's what you're telling me. So that, um, My home bit more small than than uh -huh. here you have here like she have outside where you could go and sit down and my one don't have it okay have a little place back there we could go, go in a hammock or something but not this it's not the same like the same one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what, what about you as well president is it, is it well, my room, my, my house is close to um, to um, to fruit trees, okay. in which um, when guests open their, their doors, you could right now you scrub right on the floor. Ah. <laughs> 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 yes, and um, my room is more like more 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 traditional, mm, not like that. So um, it depends on. Like mentioned, it depends what the the, the, the guest likes yeah. and wants and would like to experience, and that is what they they choose. And when you're advertising, you show the bar the variety of rooms and services that that that, that 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 you offer, right? How many rooms you have available as a group? As a group, we have um, eight rooms, eight rooms available. 
Miss Neria has two rooms. Miss Elia has two rooms, and the and Miss Leslie also has. It's Miss Leslie that has two rooms, and um, and then three like I have one. Miss Hovina and Miss Rosie have. So there are three single yes. rooms, um, and two of your members with double rooms, okay. with, with, with double rooms, right? And and you are scattered all over. Sartaneha, in different locations in, in Sartaneha. Mm -hmm. So if I would stay here and Paul would stay at another house, I have to scream at Paul or something like that, right? Because, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are at Mrs. Neria Gongora's home. Right, Ms. Neria? Estamos aquí con usted. And thanks for having us here at your home. Now, I hope you don't mind showing us the facilities that you would offer the visitor that would stay here with you. And um, so, could you, would you mind walking us through? Me gustaría ver las habitaciones que ofrece y el servicio que también que ofrece. De acuerdo. We go. Well, all right, let's go then. Um, we have got to enter your, one of your guest rooms, one of your two guest rooms, right? Because yes. you said one is occupied right now. Yes, so this one is this one is free. Yes. All right. So um, two beds. See two beds and then a private bathroom. Private bathroom. Yes. Okay. And AC? No. no. Oh sorry, no, fun. Just it's fun. Who painted this coconut tree? Uh, yes. Look good. That's original. Yes. I, li I like to see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. by the time our local artist. Tony yes, Mr. Mr. Chui. Oh. Mr. Chui. Oh. And um, she had a great idea. Everybody have their own idea. Every, every family, every lady has it, creates their own idea to make their, um, their homestay rooms the best okay? okay like she she was very creative at like to hide this cable here the, cable runs she put up that, there, yeah, uh, the tree yes, hides the cable yes, mm -hmm. all over right. there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the two two beds right two beds two beds this is for the bathroom for the luggage down for the, for the luggage the shoes and, and then you have your, your private bathroom is mm -hmm. here right yeah can i yes okay well there's everything in there that a bathroom should have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, the shower, the toilet, the basin. As, um, as you can see, um, <coughs> the, she has her, her and our home toiletries very well, mm -hmm. nicely. And um, with this, the ladies have to be trained. We, every time we, we, get, we go to trainings mm. for us to improve our services, um, to, to, be, to give the, be the guests the best service. You mentioned training, that is very important. Yes, really. Because that means that the, the ladies are not only doing this, but they are also trained, yes, are how, trained. To, how to yes. handle visitors. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Like in, especially for the pandemic, mm -hmm. we also got trained for that. So to, to um, how to do our, our, um, our housekeeping, no? to be mm -hmm. sanitized and well sanitized and, mm -hmm. and safe for, for the guests and our families mm -hmm. too. Your shower, yes, this uh, here, shower. that's a cold shower. There's a little. Uh, can I open this? Yes, that's a. Uh, for the um, for the guests. Put your hand clothes, mm -hmm. hair dryer, mm -hmm. hangers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it makes you feel at home indeed. Yeah. And then if you want to to, to feel the family um, scene scenery, then you you would go right outside and you're in Mrs. Neria's hall, yeah. right? So I would come in and. Come out of my room and or if I have a nice time, they can just relax out here. And I can relax out here I, in the, the hall. The, the village. And the street is right here. Right the village, here. Mm -hmm. And you can She's see right the village in life unfolding in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Right there. And then, what, how about you? We have a lot of la cocina, Miss Neria. Si. And vamos a ver la cocina. Podemos ver la cocina. Can we see? Can we see this fogon that you were telling me about? And so, so the guests can just come and eat, eat here, just do as, as, as they would do at home, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And there are your family pictures. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. A jar of brown sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, when we come, when we come here, when we come, um, when guests arrive, when we invite them to 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 our homes, and we we um, we have the responsibility to to show them so that they can be familiar with the home mm -hmm. and um, and the services. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so whatever you would normally do is you expose that to the guests mm -hmm. so, so they can understand what village is. So it's not only just a staying experience, but it's also a cultural, cultural experience. experience yeah. So you can experience the culture mm -hmm. through um, being in the home, experiencing home life, and also the cuisine that 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 that, mm -hmm. that, that, that will be offer. served that that will be offered at home mm -hmm. and the general ambience of being yes. in certain mm -hmm. area. yes that that is the main idea behind our business as you see the, we have the um, this is our laundry place yeah. if you if you would like to to do your the laundry guests can do their laundry here okay. and also we have the the traditional Washing machine, oh, yes, the traditional the, machine, yeah. the batea, <laughs> and yeah. Miss Nere is one of our ladies that she's still. Okay. <laughs> and then um, this is the batea, mm. and um, guess also they like to see us washing here. I guess they would try <laughs> to do it themselves, no? Yes, and sin faltar oh. el hamaca. Oh, we, we, the hamac, yes, very yes, important. They have, um, uh. They have um, we, there's hammock time we call it, uh -huh. and the, meanwhile they they're interacting with with us when we are at home, maybe like washing, cooking. They could just pull that hammock down and they could just relax in there, which is a really um, a, it's, a, it's a nice experience. So there's no place in the home <laughs> that the guests cannot, cannot go. Yes. Okay. Yeah, access to all uh -huh. places and uh, they could swings. Just come here. Yeah. And play ground. Yes, when when oh. families, when visitors come and they have children, they can share with the the swings there and oh. the pl whatever playground or is offered at home. So they will go to classes of playing yes, a hammock. Yes, we sometimes they see they see us that when we come and we just pull it like this and up. But when we are talking like that and they say, we, we, I can I, I want to learn this. So uh -huh. we just have to tell them how we have to okay. show them. Okay. okay, like we pick it up, especially yeah. from the edge, hold it like this. Sometimes you can spin around mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you could hold it. And then you pull it back. Then you pull it back. Yes. Okay, and so <laughs> there's our hammock. Yes, hammock. And when you want to just pull on one of these and mm -hmm. it falls on. And you're ready to rock and uh, rock, <laughs> rock a baby and again. Have your nice, nice, have your nice nap. siesta. Yes. <laughs> so we have come to the fire heart, right? And I can see a pot of beans. See, yes, los frijoles, the beans boiling, yes. Yeah. And um, we still. That is why I like homestay. I like to be part of homestay because I, we, we, we are six families that do do our best to keep the traditions and culture alive in our village and so our children learn and they could pass this this experience this culture to 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 to, to generations and for the for our culture to be to be alive always so this was how it was in the old days right yes yes what fogon el fogon mm -hmm. we have um we, we cook our our beans there and any meal that we would like to dine or to have with the smoke flavor mm -hmm. is this place that we come. And you use a special wood for, yes. for, for, the, to, well, for the fire, right? Well, we, we use any wood that is available because we also um, um, contribute to, to conservation. So we don't just go and just cut, cut you know, we just cut the ones that have been used and then we, we just like use like we like we make use of them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you just so we go cutting up the, 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 the just to cut down yeah. sick, and then the, y if if I don't want to go into the wrong your nice beautiful dining table, I can sit and eat here. Yes. If I want to eat by the by the fire heart. Yes. Uh, to 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 eat or to dine by the fire heart there here you can have um, enjoy the meals here, mm -hmm. and um, also um. The guests, I think most of our guests, based on our experience, most of our guests, they like to, to dine with. To dine here, because yeah. you, you, and, and then you see you smell the, the, the wood, the uh, you know, and the whole, the whole yeah. thing, you know, it's, 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 it's a mm -hmm. better experience mm -hmm. than to be, uh, yeah. not to be, uh, mm -hmm. to, to have, yes. Inside. Mm -hmm.
right? And then you have a gym for them too? <laughs> Miss Nero, you put <laughs> a gym for them or? No, for me. Outdoor gym? Also, this is the, 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 the special place where we um, enjoy snacks, fruits. But when we do that, we remove that nice tablecloth and we just peel oranges or cut sandia, watermelon. And it's in Faltar, we, here is the place we enjoy ceviche, okay? okay. Yes, so that, that when it's seasonal, we, um, when, it, when it's season time, this is where we, we enjoy the best of Sartenejo, serving ceviche here. And because you do training, all the ladies um, would try to give their unique aspect of the culture, just like what we're experiencing here today. So this is a sample of what the other ladies would oh, be doing, right? Yes, everybody does different different um, services. Um, like Miss Hovina, she had the she has a nice mango tree by her um, by her house, mm. so um, their guests can enjoy mangoes. Mm. Um, we like, you know, we eat our, our most of our foods, we eat it green, mm -hmm. verdes. So we just put that habanero there with sal and we enjoy the groncea, the sacpa, the mm -hmm. mango, plums, golden plums, whatever we eat in, in green, berries, whatever. Tamarindos, tamarindo verde. Ooh, we just love it and guess, guess just like that experience. So when you're in Sartaneja, you contact the Sartaneja Homestay Group. How can you be contacted? Well, we um, Homestay is is under um, a web uh, SSCD website, and um, you can guests can contact through us through Facebook. Through, through Facebook also, and we also have a, a business um, contact number. Okay, what well that contact number is? Is six sixty. 1817. 6 to stay and experience Sartaneja como nunca mm -hmm. with the Sartaneja Homestay Group. So if you want to really experience Sartaneja, check out the Sartaneja Homestay Group. But you got them reserved early because they only have a few rooms, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you want to expand to other women? Definitely, yes. And that is, we had uh, an experience last week, no? in which um, we, we saw the need that, that we, our next, our next step is um, to move, our next step is to increase numbers, room numbers, and also due to climate change, we have experienced that um, our rooms are very um, warm. Mm -hmm. And you, if you see, if you, if you, if you have walked around Sartaneja, most of our homes are made with concrete roof. Mm -hmm. To protect us, to protect from hurricane, but that now is affecting us, um, especially in the, our business. <coughs> so we have planned to to conditioner to make it better yeah, yes, yes. by adding ACs. But still, like I have mentioned before, we try to since we were were established under a conservation um, organization, so we try to abide with them to contribute to, towards that to contribute to this conservation. Um, um, ambient and idea, so we were, we were, our next step will be AC, but solar. Mm -hmm. But other, other, other members can join, right? Uh, other, other ladies can join your group? Yes, other families can, can, joy, uh, can join, and that is also what we have, we have talked the, the about it, the business part of Homestead have talked about it, that if we cannot increase numbers in, in, in um, room numbers, we, we have the, to look forward to, to add more families to the group yeah. because it's, very, it's getting more demanding. And, and the demand will only ra um, get bigger. There will only be more demand because Sartaneja is a beautiful village. Sartaneja is right at the cor in the cor front of the Corozal Bay. You have Shipstern, um, Nature Reserve and, and Wildlife Sanctuary, etc. Um, nearby. There's a new road being paved. New bridges are being built to reach Sartaneja so, or, or to replace the ferries. So it will only get bigger in this area, right? Yeah, and I and I think that and I think that is um, what will happen eventually in Sartaneja because of of the road being built so nicely. 
you can get to Sartaneja much easier mm -hmm. and um, and faster, which is what was the that used to to delay tourism in Sartaneja because mm -hmm. they say, oh, it's very far. But I always try to to big up Sartaneja by saying, um, but ugly ugly roads leads you to beautiful places. That's uh -huh. right. But look, I have beautiful road into beautiful places because I came along the road today and I was surprised at the improvements that that I've been seeing. Oh. You know, I know they have not finished it yet, no. and there's much more to go. Mm -hmm. But the improvement from when I came here the last time to now is mm -hmm. tremendous. When we come back, we wrap up our conversation with Neria Gongora, Yvette Cobb, and Hovina Cruz. Cobb shares a little bit about the history of the village. We will have that after we hear from our partners, Belize Tourism Board, The Barry, Shell Belize Limited, and Honorable Kevin Bernard. Shell V Power, with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell. In Orange Walk East, we are serious about serving our people. In Santa Marta, we have renovated and upgraded the community park, handed over equipment to maintain the park and cemetery, provided lights to the football field, support sports in the village, conducted maintenance of the water system, and carried out a continuous upgrading of the village roads. Honorable Kevin Bernard and the PUP committed to the people of Orange Walk East, delivering on Plan Belize. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, Orange and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry, get more, feel this. in the streets, creating dump sites, throwing a trash on the highway. We know fit to that. Only we could stop this. Each of we play an important part in a protecting our beautiful country. This that we believe. Respect it. Cherish it. Love it. Madam President, we have moved and we are sitting in a nice swing. You know, I have sat in a little swing like this. Let me let me see if I could rock it. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So this is relaxing to just sit down in the yard and, and in, in a swing. Um, I, uh, but earlier we, s we started talking a little bit about Sartaneja and the story of Sartaneja. Um, I'm sure you are familiar with that whole story. So I would like for you to give a little before we leave to give me a rundown of Sartaneja. What makes Sartaneja so unique? <laughs> Let's go. Um, well, Sartaneja um, is a is an is a name that deri derived from a from a Maya name. It's Atnaha, which means water beneath the rocks. Um, that name derived came up because when the first inhabitants of Sartaneja, La Familia Aragon, the Aragon family, when they came here, um, they they found a Mayan well in right in the center is on the main street and uh, the main street is made is named um, it's at Naha it's at Naha street so the well is still existing it's still there and um, that was somebody else ago well while, while I'm living in Sartaneja I'm 52 years but I think it's, it's more, more years, far, more than far, far more years. Yeah. And um, well, this is um, 
and uh, you know it's right in front of, of the bay. Um, the bay is here and with the sea is at the back. Yeah. And um, Sartaneja is is very is a unique, it's a it's a fishing village, it's the second largest fishing village in Belize. Um, most of our men um, depend on an income on the fishing industry. Um, also, um, we we still have um, um, most of, of elders living in Sartinea. We 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 have about maybe like two or three elders still in the village, and um, and they are the ones that which is like my dad, he is 84 years, and mm -hmm. I have learned a lot from him, especially the history part. Mm -hmm. um, when that when Sartaneja Force, force um, um, was was established here, um, people used to, to depend on a living of, of um, trading, trading, trading uh, um, post, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. um, fruits. Uh -huh. Sartaneja didn't have a, a road so most of the of the trading part of the business part the commercial part was done through to the sea from here to to Cor to Corozal or from here to Belize city um, my dad said he used to work him um, selling um, fire heart wood okay he and my, he and my grandfather um, others used to do um, trading fruits selling fruits to um to to the to Corozal Tongue or to um, Orange Rock, I mean to Belize City. Um, that was the living. Then the fishing, the fishing um, idea came up, and uh, men started to look for that other means of, of livelihoods, and they w w went fishing, in which they had to move from. They have to to leave the village to go to Belize City. All these those nice beautiful boats that you see. By the bridge. by the swing bridge that Papa is Papa Sartaneja, Shunosh and Copper Bank villages. Yeah. And um, well that is when Sartaneja changed from what it was before to another another e era from from fruit vendors and woodcutters to to um, fishing fishing or fishermen. Yeah. That was a big, big change. Then and now as you have seen it's more it's a different chain now, it's from fishing from fishing industry to the tourism industry and business industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it has a huge tourism potential in my mind, you know, um, coming to the area for the past so many years, well, I haven't been for quite some time, but f before, you know, it's what I remember from before and what I'm seeing now, you know, it's, it's, it's like everything here is just expanding, right? Yes, it's, 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 it's expanding. Um, this past, like this past um, ten, five to ten years, we we have experienced. Well, I have experienced, and I think most villagers will do um, that. It's a it's a really it's a really great change at Sartaneja, and even it will go more farther. That change will be more more farther be when this when our new road is is completed. Yeah. And you, you spoke a, a bit about the, the, the fishing aspect of it. I think one of the important things to note is that most of those boats, a lot of those boats that we see, were actually made here in, the, in, in front of Sart in Sartaneja itself. Right? Yes, we have um, craft craftsmen that uh -huh. um, that do that build those those build boats. And boats. his name, we are very fortunate to to have. Um, I think it's three, four, four or five. Right, right, right. Yes. Um, Craftsmen that do that build boats in Sartaneja, and one of them is Mr. Um, Juan Juan Guerrero, Mr. Um, the Munoz family, um, the Verde family. But these families, along with another family or two, would be the ones that will build most of the boats. Yes, mm -hmm. that, that, that are here. Mm -hmm. that right. are here. Yes, and um, I'm glad that, like Mr. Juan Guerrero. He he is passing that that knowledge, that skills, uh -huh. that unique skill, to 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 one of his nephews, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which his dad was also a car uh, a boat builder, in which Mr. Juan Guerrero learned from his nephew's father this this skill. Mm -hmm. um, now the talking about water, mm -hmm. 
I know that there's a well in the yard here, <laughs> right? Uh, most yards would have a water well, right? Mm -hmm. we, we still keep but with we that still get good fresh water, with, right? with that culture and, and tradition of having our own water, water supply at home. Mm. Um, we have a village, um, a community water supply, but mm. we still keep to this because our thanks thank to, to Mother Nature, we still have our, our wells in Sartaneja have very, very good, good water supply. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know if this is a rumor or if I'm remembering correctly, right? And uh, they tell me that there's a area not far from here where you can almost go and pick the fish out of the water. Is that so? Or is that just a story? <laughs> yes, yes, we, we have. <laughs> yes, that is, as I mentioned before, Sardineha is very unique in many, many, many ways. Yes, and um, we, we are the village we are the fishing. We are the fishing village in Belize that has this tradition of um, of of getting of catching catching fish by by a very um, is well. We have learned that it's a Mayan um, it's a Mayan um, tradition that we we, 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 we we are still on. We um, it's known as the bee traps, uh -huh. and. Um, they're still, and that's also traditional because now due to much to conservation, to keep this going on, not anybody can owe a license. The, the only the families that had work in it, and that family have to pass that license to their generation. Like yeah. I cannot know, I cannot belong cannot to this. Get a new license mm, to do no, such no, thing. No, no, no. They have to yeah. be um, like belong to this to this um, family, so that um, you can owe an. an um, a license to do this this fishing trip and it's very interesting i i have experienced that last week i went there was a group here that we went over there and it's very i felt i tell one of the ladies i feel like if i am not in san pedro this family miss neria's family does he has a license he does big trap traps and um, it's it's a long experience it have a very um very um special skill to to, it's a to skill. Yeah, yes, it's, it's a skill. Yeah, it's it's like built that. from the beach. Uh, we call they call it in Spanish te la cola. It's a, like a have you seen like a ray? You see the the shape of a mantle ray, uh, just like that. From the beach, you go and it's a heart, but they don't call they call it a heart. Okay, it goes from the beach, and the, then you have this heart, and this heart has two entrances two entrance, one on the right and one on the left. So the fishes that come to to the right place, they get trapped, you know, because the, this tail, this part from the from from that that's in the sea meets the um, the beach. So um all the fish that goes there it goes right onto like a little canal and stays in the trap. And the ones that come on this side just go right on this on the other entrance. And they just get in there, and it's it's a it's very skillful and and talent that is shown there, because the um the the fishers they they call it something that is called copo, copo, it's like a big um, net that they had to to um do by, hand. do by hand that they throw it right in this what they call it, the hard part, they take a stick they hold a stick. And they go all around, they put this copo, like a bag, like this, and they go all around the, the heart, like tick, 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 but very, very soft and nicely they go. So the fish gets into this, into this um, net, bag, net, the copo, and then after that they just like, they just hold it, and they just pull it out, and that's where they put and, and it's only fish that they would, um, Get right, not, not not the other marine life or anything like that. Well, anything that gets trapped in there, that is when the part of conservation gets along, because they those animals are released, like the tarpon. If you catch any fish that that, that yes, it is they are released. Small fish because the nets have a certain size, in which the small fishes, like the small chihuahuas, the small um, 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 pargos, um, las mujarras, though all certain size, 
they are not they are not caught. They they just like can feed themselves by themselves. So it's only edible fish that would uh, yes, would, would only remain. the ones that are uh, that are allowed to to get to yeah. fish. Yeah. Beautiful Sartaneja by the sea, right? Uh, fishing community, and agri you do some agriculture as well, right? Well, well, um, honestly, agriculture is not. Most of us, well, most families have agriculture. I like to gardening. I have my, I like to like, so during pandemic, I was able to, to help my fa my family, um, because I had, I grew cucumbers, I grew um, cilantro, lo que no puede faltar, tomate, um, um, el radish. Well, we we families can do our own gardenings to grow our own um, food. And also the farmers, they they do um, mostly planting. Oh, planting grows so nice in Sartene. Eh? <laughs> Plantains and bananas, and pineapples. But when it comes like to, to agriculture that deals with beans and those more. Yeah, because of the, the lay mm -hmm. of the land, yeah, it, those, those, those are those are more dry, difficult. It's dry area, right. stony, rocky, yeah. rocky area. Miss Neria and Miss Hovina, I want to thank you for having us here in your home and for showing us your facilities and, and sharing your stories with us. I want to thank both of you ladies. Is there anything you'd like to say that I did not ask you, Ms. Neria and Ms. Sovina? Gracias a ustedes por, por su equipo que trajeron. Eh, pues no, no creo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she says no, she, she's thanking us for, for, for being here. The pleasure is all ours, Ms. Neria. I'm sorry about you. Okay, I just want to thank you too for being here with us and knowing more from the Sartaneja Homestead Group. And uh, I think I think uh, that in a lot of people would know us more now, and then we could we could have more guests at our homes and. Nice, nice to have you here for this experience. It's my first time talking like this, and oh, I was a little bit nervous at first, but now it's okay. Yeah, comfortable, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Yes, yes, that's the, that's yes, the main yes, thing. Yes, right? and thank you very much yeah. for being here with us. Well, I must say, you ladies made me feel at home, right? I'm ready, yeah. right? So thank you, thank you so much, then, for doing that, and I want to wish you and the group all the very best. So, Madam President, um, it's um, about that time that we end up closing closing our show. I know there might be something that um, you might want to say that um, I did not ask you or we did not come out in our conversation. So let me give you a little break to say that. Well, we we have um, we have um, we have uh, mostly um, learned more. You have more get more more information mm -hmm. about Sartaneja, about the different. Um, um, business and uh, activities that goes on in in this village and um, we are very um, happy to have you here and making homestay part of this of this same um, plan um, I would like to I know that the country of Belize from north to south from the very tip of Sartaneja to to the Sarsun River we will they will get Belize will get to know more about Sartaneja and I would like to to tell Belizeans to to visit us, come to Sartaneja, come and experience what we have to offer. When you visit us, you make our business grow, you make our business sustainable, you make families sustainable. And if you would, anybody would like to be interested in how to to establish a, a homestay in their community, to to help um, um, to make income for the families, you you can come to Sartaneja and uh, I, our group, will be willing to, to share with you this this business so that we are, we ladies, especially families, women who stay at home can have a, a way of, of livelihood to sustain families. And um, Sartaneja is, is very, it's a very beautiful village, safe village to live and to visit, um, very unique very things that maybe you will not mm -hmm. imagine that certainly have we have places that you would really enjoy and they make certain uh, one of your destinations to to be 
on your agenda. Um, one of the unique things of, of our village is that is the sunset. is the only place in mainland Belize where you can watch the sunset over the water. It's one of the of the main attractions in our village. So um, thank you once again, Belize, Belizeans, um, you're welcome to, to stay with us when there is another um, plan for visiting. You, you're welcome to, to stay with us and you will always be welcome. Thank you. The Sartaneha Homestay Group. Let me wish you all the very best, ladies. And I like what you're doing. And uh, may success continue to come your way. You. All right? Uh, because what you're doing really is a labor of love. And one can feel the love here in Sartaneha. And because we choose to love, you know what we say at our station? We say it simply, you know, you know Madam President? Mm -hmm. And uh, we say Belize and beyond. Thanks for choosing love. Okay, <laughs> you see? I know you listen to love over here, right? <laughs> Belize Watch. Knowledge of the past. Impacting the present. Building the future. Celebration time. It don't matter what part of the jewelry comes from. You that you and me that me. But guess what?